In Alberta, part of an endangered species natural habitat is up for auction, and critics say that could seriously hurt the future of mountain caribou herds. But the government says there are restrictions to prevent that from happening. Briar Stewart has our story. They roam in herds across western Canada, herds that are so rapidly in decline that last month a federal panel of scientists concluded that mountain caribou should be considered endangered. Yet today, some of their habitat was on the auction block. It's just very bad decision making. Professor Mark Boyce is baffled that last month the province leased out 1,000 hectares of caribou habitat to energy developers and today 750 more. It's not worth it in terms of the value to Canada's economy to develop those places where we're going to have continuing consequences for, for biodiversity. More wolves are preying on caribou because industrial development is shrinking the deep snow and dense forests which once protected the herds. Just last week, Environment Canada proposed a caribou recovery plan which stipulated that 65% of habitat in the foothills should be undisturbed or restored. While the provincial government has been criticized for the leases, it stresses that selling the rights isn't an automatic license to drill. Uh, one of the things that we're looking at in critical habitat is making sure that, uh, you know, that we reduce the human footprint as much as possible. So roads, uh, seismic lines. The government also has rules in place like restricting activity during migration and calving. But Carolyn Campbell wants to see more, a moratorium on all caribou habitat. Alberta, by continuing to lease these new oil and gas leases, is really on the wrong side of public opinion, of science and of its own caribou policies. Policies, she says, that need to change now before these herds get even smaller. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Edmonton.